Hello everyone, welcome to uh, round two tonight. We're at Suit Sandown. Hopefully everyone's all doing well. We're just about to kick off here. Got a very interesting night ahead of us. Uh, very interesting qualifying. There we go tonight. Uh, sorry for the brief start. Jump right all. Looks like we're about to get underway here. Here we are, the cars are lined up for race one. Here at Sandown, all starting off the pole, and you might have a bit of a jump start there from Haymaker, unless that was just a crazy good starter, and it looks like it was there. Make a bit of time. Spools is got a very good start there with Vivid slotting in behind him. My boy in behind him. <clears throat> that one so it's all nice and clean in this first lap now we did have 50 laps planned for it, but we've shortened it down to 25 right bando closely following that mad boy actually a nice little pack brewing up back here Go to them. We've also got the introduction of the game who has signed Delvey Power Racing. It'll be interesting to see how he goes tonight as he's already picked off HI Vando. And last, something's happened to Vivid there. And oh, I think we might just be restarting. I think we are, so we'll head to the showcase. <laughs> he is just a bit hot. I don't know what happened there. Um, it was brief. Um, while we're here, let's go have a look at the uh, standings. So here's your standings, your driver standings. Hado, who unfortunately is not here tonight. Currently your league, uh, league leader, 288 points. Haymaker, not too far behind him. They had a really, Tickbit had a really good run that night. I'm more in third, who I don't see here tonight. There are a few names, Spools, he'll be looking to jump up to the lead by the end of this round. Fivid, he'll be looking for a bit of a better round uh, tonight. Now they all go. We're just about to start again. Cars revving up. Gameplay. My boys jumped it there. And they are off. Uh, we apologize for the false start there and the start. Haymaker is off to an amazing start up to third. Look, see what's going on back here as Man Boy jumps up to second. Vivid hasn't had the best of starts, starting on the front row. Um, wasn't a great start from him at all. As even Vando has now got him there. So Vivid's had a shocking start, and Haymaker is all over the rear end of Mad Boy. He'll sneak up the inside as Vando's just gone off the track. The game follows Vivid through as Haymaker sneaks his nose and doesn't commit to a move exactly, but lets it know he's there. And a bit squirmy there for Mad Boy as he contact with the grass as Spools is extending his lead right from the get-go and now Vivid's caught up massively to the rear end of uh, Haymaker there. He hasn't had the best of runs and we'll be looking to follow him through. We'll go back down to the two and see what's happening. You can see that boys are uh, all settled down a bit after that, that one carnage as the game sets the fastest lap. Your new debutant DJR are now officially old be the word. But a very close battle here between Man Boy, Vivid and Haymaker. 
may be the game. But in fact, it's actually spicing up a bit more between Haymaker and Mad Boy. And Mad Boy there has gone into the wall. A bit of a big crash there for Mad Boy. He was sitting in second, in a very comfortable second, and it looks like Vivid might have got involved with that as well. I wonder if that brings out the safety car. Doesn't look like it, because it looks like Spools, he's still going full speed ahead. Here is the game. Um, now his name is pretty well known in our little community we have um, and it's nice to see him getting involved here in some supercars action for virtual Aussie motorsports good points for all DJR tonight as long as the game can keep it keep it together makes a little mistake there and now maker who might potentially take the championship lead after this round if he continues but just as I say that he's ran a bit wide there is there are tires everywhere I expected them to yeah within the first few we'll jump on board because it looks like he's made a bit of time here on Haymaker we'll see where his car is faster than the others and he's actually much much quicker there than Haymaker not even in the braking so but midway through the corner and potentially on exit starting to notice the theme at the Falcons they're pretty good around here well I'll see into things see HOI Vando in that beautiful coca-cola livery behind him seems like games here has lost a bit of time can he get a good run up this hill I don't know it looks like Haymaker got a bit more of a better run the massive lockups and he catches up to him quite a bit here in this little chicane very tight chain and he's just got to get good run on the straight and maybe throw it up the inside into turn one is he close enough that's the question the slipstream i don't think he's close enough to put a move on he might be able to sneak his nose in maybe and he gets really close now he's all over the rear end of him Takes a bit more of a wider line, and it's actually stuffed him up a bit there, the game. But that has that forces Haymaker's hands to have a tighter line through here. See how he goes managing that. It seems like the game's able to catch up to him in this in this sort of opening part of the track in the last parts. Um, but Haymaker tends to pull away down in this little middle section. The track. Um, but he'll catch up a bit here. He's actually ran really wide there. A lot wider than what he usually does, the game. As Spolz he has just gone. He's no longer... Oh, well, there he is there, heading into turn one. While these boys duke it out. We'll have a look down the field. HY Bando. Currently in no man's land, but he'll be enjoying himself. He had a mega quality for race too. So we'll see him start off the second row of the grid. Awesome stuff for him there. And from P3, beautiful classic Coca Cola livery. Um, see if these boys are any close to each other. They're not too close. Man Boy seems to be uh, holding his own. They are notably catching up to HY Vando in uh, fourth there. But he's going to have some pressure to deal with soon, HY Vando. See if these two have gotten any closer. It just seems to be a bit steady at the moment, doesn't it? Um, no, the game will catch up to him at some parts. He's had a really good run through there, actually. Yeah. So lap 7 to 25, maybe have a, see some, 
because soon as game really close now like you cannot get any closer but just as I said that run wide and ruin any chance of making a move there into P2 for this race um, we can see here and boy and vivid working up towards HI Vando they get closer and closer as the laps go by now I wonder if they're carrying any damage now we do run with simulation damage I've disconnected or someone else I don't know what's happened there but anyway press on um, now I'm wondering I'm wondering if these two boys are carrying any damage right now because both involved in an incident in the opening stages of this race might hinder them I don't think they would have pit real reason to as my boy really wide there on the exit of that corner Vivid takes a much wider line than my boy he opts to go quite tight <clears throat> and we can see here the game he's starting to put some pressure on Haymaker now about time um, he's just got to really think about the way he positions the car and his braking markers of course we'll go on board with Haymaker we'll watch from behind Eric and just see how it all unfolds here but the game's really catching up he, he's actually made a big error there and HY Vando I think might be catching up to the game by the looks of things it could be because these two are battling but regardless he's not really on it tonight he really could be on for it tonight Oh, a bit right, wide there from Haymaker. But he built a comfortable enough cushion to game to really get away with that mistake. As HR Vando has ran wide in the background there. Now, how close does that bring the other fellas to him? Pretty close. There's my boy's pretty much drifting it there. Um, too close though to make a move, so we'll go back to third and second. The battle for second, sorry. Um, um, too much more going on there. Here is the man of the hour, really spools. He's just absolutely dominant DJR. Picked up a, a mega signing with him. Um, and just look at he's driving this thing. He's driving on, there's no tomorrow and it's so smooth as well. Nailing Apex, his braking zone, you name it. He, he's got it all down to a pat. Very, very dominant. Um, but there are a few things that could hinder his championship, but this will be a good round for him. And just DJR in general with the signing of the game here. Especially if he can get this move done on Haymaker. And it looks like he's actually lost a bit of time to Haymaker. And HR Vando, he's looking very quick, isn't he? Looks like he's got genuine pace, one would say. Um, oh, he is looking very quick. He's looking like his old, his old, his old self again. see the two boys at the back they're having a bit of a scrap by the looks of things oh they're in the pits bad boys in the pits so there's your first pit stop of the night mad boy wonder if the dam i wonder if he had damage and if the damage just too much from there as you can see spalls setting the fastest lap of the race with 55.7 with a ball he hasn't had the greatest starts has he he started off the front row i believe front row with um spools and oh just hasn't been great for him so far involved in an incident in the op uh, opening laps best
see if there's any changes. I had. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, actually, no. I'm glad I did come over here because now we've got HR Vando setting up a move on the game, and this is a three way battle for second. Hello. Oh, he's just absolutely destroyed that corner. Not even there. HR Vando, this pace. This pace is really, really good. Um, as the boys head into the pits, I don't know what happened with Haymaker there. He looked like he was juking for the pits as HR Vando's had to go on the grass. He's had to make the move on the grass. I really do not know what's happened there. I think either Haymaker's attempted to uh, go into the pits and just couldn't get it turned in, or he's tried to juke the game. Nevertheless, the game is in the pits as Haymaker looks for the, looks for the crisscross. Vando, he's got to park the bus in the corner there. Doesn't do that quite well, but does enough to hold on for now. As things are getting a bit nasty, there's getting a bit squirmy. As H5 Fando, he's having a mega drive, absolutely mega drive. He's actually built a bit of time there between him and Haymaker. So, indeed, Hato, what a move. It was absolutely spectacular to watch as Haymaker dips into the pits. I believe that's Vivid Ball that followed him. I am correct. A HR Vando, I mean, wow. What a drive from him this evening. And he's starting P3 in the next race. So he's done himself a mega job. He can be really proud of his effort, efforts tonight and from last night, regardless of what happens tonight, I reckon. Um, just drove the absolute walls off that thing as the game is done. A really good strategy call. Um, I'd imagine the incident Haymaker had probably slowed him down a bit, but the game jumps him. But effectively, he doesn't really gain any position because of HR Vanto, who, if he can keep up the pace, he was. Um, having while he was catching up to those guys, he might be able to keep second here. Now it depends when he pits. Does he lap? He does. For quite a quick run, and we'll just see whether the game gets past him. I think he will quite comfortably. No side of Haymaker except there, and it looks like there's a bit of a battle for it. Now we'll, we'll go back to that in a second. I'm gonna find HR Vando here. There he is. And Vando's actually done himself a weldy. He's made up a few spots. And I believe Haymaker might have lost time because here comes Manboy and HR. Uh, not HOI, sorry, Vivid. They're now putting the pressure on Haymaker. And Vando's really got to use this opportunity to just run away now because he can get himself a really, really awesome result here. As long as Mad Boy and Vivid put that, you know, put really put the pressure on Haymaker. Mad Boy, oh, I'm really Mad Boy. Um, in that corner in particular, I'm looking to try and maximize my run down the straight, but he's absolutely sent it up the inside. There's contact, and Mad Boy looking for the crisscross. He's gonna try and do this the hard way around the outside. It's tight, and he get it done. He's actually been shoved off to the dirt. A lot of shoved up to the dirt. That is a very tight corner. Make any move, and it looks like there might have been a bit of an, been a bit of an incident between Mad Boy and Vivid there, as Vivid now gets the move done. So Mad Boy just a bit too a bit too ambitious there, trying to get a move done that you really just can't. The corner so fast and so tight. I'd say that is more of a racing incident. Anyone to be blamed up there? And he's actually ran wide, so I wonder if he's got. Any damage on board that Holden Commodore, but we'll have a look up here because Vivid might come into his own here. And poor HO on Vando. I'm giving him a ramp, but these two here, they're pretty quick. And you can see there just how much time they actually caught up on Vando. Vando really struggling on these cold tires. As DJR are running away with it right now with a 1 2 game and spools. And indeed, Vivid has played himself into this. He's played a really smart card here. Despite everything that happened at the start, he's really bought himself into his own. I say, won't be able to catch the game. He's a bit too far away now. 
but he's definitely on track to maybe score himself a podium and even second. Oh, sorry, yeah, a podium. Oh, I forgot the game was second. As he's had a mega run through there, and he's going to start applying some pressure. He puts his nose there just to let him know that he's there. And you can see there, there's going to be some Morse codes being sent to him right about now as they come down the straight. He gives it a send up the inside as Haymaker gets the crisscross done. Now there's contact. Now does Vivid pull out? I think the smart thing would be to do so and he does. And all this is doing is giving HO Avedo the perfect advantage he needs to extend his gap to second. But a bit of a mistake there allows Vivid to maybe have a look up the inside. He doesn't. Drops to get him a better run than Haymaker. As Haymaker has a tight run there. Puts his nose to the inside but doesn't commit to a move. It's probably the smart thing to do. Me. Smart thing to do, all things considered. And he makes the corner a little bit more open for him to get a good run down here. And you'll have to do the same onto the straight. Now all this is doing really is bringing Mad Boy back into this. Little moment, he'll be a bit annoyed with himself, so he might go for another ambitious move. Vivid there doesn't get as good of a run as he did last lap round. But he's actually got a much better run than that, and he's nearly snuck his nose in. But again, the smart thing to do around this corner would be in behind and maximize your run down the straight, and he's done exactly that as Haymaker. Dips a couple of wheels onto the dirt. That won't be great for him. And Vivid might go up the inside. And he does. Can he get the move properly done? Depends. I think he might be right for it. And he does. Vivid ball up to fourth after what was a terrible start, um, we must say. And make a good bit squirmy there. But he's actually got a really awesome run here. Can he get a move done? Vivid blocks the inside. Um, he's going to have a tight run. Run is on the straight, and here comes Haymaker now up the inside. Can he get it done? This is an awesome battle we're witnessing. Like Haymaker might just hold on to it. No, he's ran wide, so. But Vivid got a really bad run there. What a battle that was. Really? My breath now. Um. Well, Vando, he'll be egging the battle on. Both sights and sounds of supercars here at Lionwalk Park, which is our sand down. Um, they're pretty mental around here. The game is comfortably sitting in second with Spools in the lead. However, it looks like Bando is getting caught here, unfortunately. He's only really got to hold on for a few more laps. Get himself a podium, which will be mega stuff for him in his championship and premier racing. They'll be over the moon with him. Um... You know, Premier Racing, they're quite a small team. So for them to get third year, or even fourth, really, would be a mega job. All right, Vando, they were, they were pleased with him yesterday in qualifying, but he is getting caught as Haymaker. And the Tickford Castro Edge Racing Ford Falcon is catching up. He's actually lost quite a bit of time, and that's allowed the ball to maybe sneak up the inside, in which he does. He's going to stick a move in. Can he hold on to it? Bit of a wider run there from Haymaker. He might get a good run down the straight. He gives with the ball a bit of a tap. Looking around the outside now. We did see how this ended last time. Can it get done cleanly? Yes, it does. Haymaker around the outside. I don't know if someone's disconnected there. Doesn't look like it. Everyone's here. So, this is only beneficial, really, to... <laughs> HR Vando again as oh no I'm so sorry as Spools is nearly about to lap him holy moly didn't even realize how far ahead Spools was and Vando he's made a bit of a mistake <laughs> a 
If a ball doesn't commit to a move, um, he did pull out a little bit just to sneak his nose in. Let him know he's there. Bit of a squirmy run there for HR Vando, but I think he just might really do. And I don't know if the game's getting caught. Look like it. Be right. We'll go on board. Yeah, we'll check out Spools as he's rounding the final quarter to enter his final lap of the race. What a dominant performance. I mean, he's nearly he's nearly lapped the field. And, you know, I must say, we do have some very quality drivers here. So for him to do that is just speaks um, speaks about his talent as the game. It's 30 seconds behind him. I'm not going to catch him. But we'll have a look. See, this battle is getting any feistier. As we're getting their final lap of the race. I don't want to miss out on this. As HR Vando, he might actually get caught, unfortunately, in the last lap. No! Haymakers had a massive moment. I can't I don't want to miss out on this. Um so we've got to check out Spools. Just quickly go to him here as Spools, he's rounded the final quarter, he's had a dominant run today for DJR, this will help his championship significantly and DJR in general with a 1-2, Spools your race winner, I'm going to quickly go back to this battle because it's not over and HR Vando, this is for a podium, and Vando might get caught here, oh he's been pinned into the wall, I, I don't know if he's actually been pinned, or he's just made the mistake himself, but oh Vando, Oh no! And Vivid might have been caught in all of that. Oh, well, here comes the second DJR car. A 1 2 for DJR. The game, well, he's nearly rolled it over the line. A haymaker in a very, very hard working third. It was an awesome battle to watch there. Mad Boy crosses the line in fourth. Very, on very. Just very unfortunate for Vando there. It seems his car might be really broken. Oh, look at it. Just a very sad sight. Potential verb was on the cards there for him. He, was, he had an absolute mega drive, but he came out of those pits and those cold tires. It just didn't help him one bit, did it? The car sounds very stuffed. It looks very stuffed up. He's going to come around the final corner in last place. Wow, very, very unfortunate stuff there for Vando. Well, that was race one, and what a race that was. I mean, that was just absolutely hectic. So we're going to take a bit of a break here. Um, wow, what a race. I mean, far out. I think, I can't actually remember where Haymaker started from, but he's, well, he's done well, not only for himself in the championship, driver's championship, but he's done well for... Cato being absent, he's done well for Tickford. I believe this could potentially put um, Haymaker into the lead of the championship. DJR, they had an awesome, awesome race there. Um, 
finishing 1-2, they were able to pick up, get some points back really. Um, this HY Bando did disconnect there, but DJR they would have put themselves in the team's championship. Good stuff from them tonight. We've got one more race coming up to 25 lapper. One compulsory stop. No safety cars in that. that last one. I was a bit shocked. Oh, no, no. We're sorry. We've got a big one. We have a big one coming up. 40 laps. Um, we didn't actually... Yeah, I was a bit shocked we didn't see any safety cars, especially after that opening lap incident with... Uh, remember when Vivid, I was a bit shocked. Um, but maybe we'll, we'll see some here and it'll spice some things up. Big 40 laps ahead of us. There it goes. if the qualifying results for this race are up i do know the story of this race is hoi vando in third he had a well, he had a real real good run but easy grid now we are unfortunately missing a few people we are missing eyeball so that'll promote Mowboy up to p4 Vivid Bull starts on the front row again. Hopefully he can have a bit of a better race. Spools sees your pot pole man again. Just very dominant. Drives the car so well. It'll be good to see his championship racks up after tonight. HOI Vando in P3. As stated previously, Mad Boy in P4. Haymaker and the game will be starting the rear of the grid. Aim, uh, the game, I must say, was my driver for that race. He had a very good drive coming from the back of the field. Um, so good stuff from him. And fingers crossed. Do the Waiting on a few people. Like we are about to get underway for our last race this evening. If you uh, have tuned in, thank you for being here tonight. It's been fun. I uh, know Hado has been yeah, so hopefully you're doing well, mate. Let's have a good one tonight. This last one. Let's have a bit of fun. And here we are for the last race this evening. Spools off the pole. There is the grid. A try bad of our third. He'll be looking for a bit of a better start and spools. Just an amazing start from him again. The three wider to turn one in the bit. The second, yeah. There's vivid around the outside of Mad Boy. He's actually clipped the grass a little bit. I saw all that. Yeah, a little bit. Mad Boy going for a bit of a send here on Spools. He's going to try and get a move done early. I don't think he needs to put, force his car into, into a position that could potentially cause some damage. And it looks like. H.O. Vando, unfortunately for him, he drops down to six. Um, as Spools is now <laughs> quickly running away with the thing in first already. Big 40 lapper, Mad Boy's had a mass. Oh, he's had a bit of a tank slap, and here comes Haymaker. Now, do we have an incident similar to the first one? Haymaker, he's stuck his nose around the outside, but he's actually ran wide. And he's gotten a better run. That boy's going to keep it there. Uh, well, he's actually ran much wider than previously. 
what, what he probably expected and Haymaker just easily slots the car up. Man boy, he's forcing his nose in, out, any way he can. And here comes Vivid now, he's forcing his forcing his uh his card as they go side by side. He Mad Boy's actually pushed. And Vivid there out, out of the track. I think he might be redressing by the looks of things. No, it doesn't he so he doesn't redress. Be interesting to see what happened to HY Vando there at the start of the race. Very unfortunate for him. Looks like him and the game might have been caught up in it. An instant, he's just had a rough night, hasn't he? He, he had an amazing quality and he, he was driving a really good race in that last one. In the end, it just didn't uh, didn't bone well for him. But we'll, we'll go back to the little pack that we have gotten used to now for tonight. And Vivid, like he gets the job down done around Mad Boy, around the outside of Mad Boy. Once again, Man Boy forcing his nose in though, trying to get a move done, but Vivid's not scared of it. He lets he makes sure he knows about the fact that he's not scared and he holds on to P3. Now this will be a better drive for him compared to the last race, but Man Boy, he's gonna Boy well, really all over the rear end of Vivid here. He's stuck well with him through this little section of the track. He's I've actually given a bit of a bump there during in that little chicane. Bit squirmy for Haymaker coming out of that corner. Now, Vivid, this will be a bit of a better race from the last one. Um, but you compare that to his uh, relative starting position for this one, you'll be wanting to get Haymaker as quick as possible. Big 40 laps, though.